Well, hi, welcome to My Favorite Mistake. Today we're doing a bonus episode catching up with one of our guests who has a, a new book out, and that guest is John Rossman. He joined us in episode 242 uh, in January 2024, and uh, later in February, his latest book was released, Big Bet Leadership, Your Playbook for Winning in the Hyper-Digital Era. So John, welcome back to the podcast. Mark, great to see you. Thanks for having me. So um, I've got a couple of questions about the book and the launch, but um, you know, if you would, if, if the listener hadn't heard your episode, uh, tell, tell, tell us about the new book, Big Bet Leadership. Yeah. So if you think about you know, the, the statistics of success in companies making major transformations, we all know that those statistics are statistics of failure, right? Like it's like a, a batting average, right? Like two out of 10 work or, mm -hmm. or even, even less. But yet we know that we have to be able to make change happen, whether it's due to technology changes or competitive forces or cost forces, whatever it is. And so that's a pretty tricky value proposition, right? Like, you know, you're going to fail at it, but yet you need to do more of it. So mm -hmm. Big Bet Leadership is a set of lessons that um, myself and my co-author, Kevin McCaffrey, learned from the people we worked for, Jeff Bezos and John Ledger at T-Mobile, as well as studied Elon Musk and um, Satya Nadella from Microsoft, mm -hmm. and our own experience in making major transformations happen. And so we kind of put a framework in place of creating the three differentiated habits, which is uh, create um, uh, create clarity, maintain velocity, and accelerate risk and value. And the book mm. helps with senior leaders and the teams that serve them put those practices into motion. Mm. So how would you say the book's been received? I mean, I, I took a, a glance uh, at Amazon, you know, it's a 4.9 average rating and and reviews so far but like what what kind of feedback beyond the numbers like i'm sure you know you're talking to people who've read the book and what, what are they telling you well um everybody comes away with something a little different a lot of people love the preface of the book so the preface of the book is a you know the subtitle is about the hyper digital era so the preface of the book is is this foreboding um prediction about what i call the hyper digital era which is going to make the past 25 years of digital transformation seem pretty calm and it's a combination of forces not just technology but population trends and the mm. the commitment of the us uh uh debt spend that's going to force an era of reimagined productivity within organizations and mm -hmm. you know the high points and low points of, of that that it's going to create a lot of people love the initial chapters of what's called thinking and outcome which is really about taking amazon's working backwards processes and we we reverse engineered those for companies that are not amazon but mm -hmm. I think the real, you know, when people get into the third section, which is big bet management and an entirely new orientation into how do you actually put the governance processes and the mm -hmm. high stakes meetings in place? I've gotten a lot of feedback on, you know, one of the tools we have, which is called the three futures memo and, and how mm -hmm. different that is than the way most, you know, kind of, um, proposals are prepared. They're prepared really as a sales pitch versus what mm -hmm. we try to encourage people to do is which you actually want feedback. And, and to some degree, alignment is not agreement. Alignment means we mm -hmm. understand each other. And so this mm -hmm. is a different technique to truly get alignment versus just presenting a sales pitch and getting people nodding their head without really getting their understanding or their best feedback as to you know, what they view are the high risk components of a, mm -hmm. a proposal. Mm. And so when you talk about the technology and a hyper digital era, does this include a lot of big bets being made uh, around AI? Yeah, I, I mean, c certainly that is, you know, a new toolbox um, and capability, a superpower to, to, to change things. But I, I think one point of alignment you and I both have, which is, you know, the, the simplification of work and processes and, and outcomes first is so much more important. And there's a thousand things we could go do with AI. Mm. The, the, the challenge is figuring out like, well, what are the, 
really valuable problems and customer needs that we should invest our scarce resources on and how to test those out better before we actually start committing big spend to them. That, you know, the technology is hard, but that's not the hardest part of making these changes happen, right? It's it's all the upfront decision-making processes, how we communicate, how we work together, how we do governance, how we, we have a chapter that's called, um, um, kill, pivot, uh, continue, or confusion. And it's all about the high stakes meetings that go on around these things and how to do a better job at those. Those are the really complex things that, you know, whether again, it's taking AI or a major cost model innovation, mm-hmm. like those are the hard parts of making these changes happen. Mm-hmm. Well, great. Well, I hope people will check out the book. Uh, again, John Rossman, Big Bet Leadership, is the title. And then I'm going to ask you a final question. Um, you know, as we talk about normally in the podcasting, we all make mistakes. Every book, <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> every, every book ever published has some sort of mistake, even if it's a small typo. Is there anything that stands out to you that, that you found in, in like first readings or like, oh no, a little well, mistake? Well, so um, I really like the, the voice actor that did the book, but there was a couple of words that the pronunciation was kind of mm-hmm. caught my ear. I don't know mm-hmm. if anybody else would hear it and everything, but a yeah. couple of the pronunciations kind of caught my ear. So that, that's really the only thing that I've come across next. You know, There are topics that we purposefully left out of the book that mm-hmm. I oftentimes, I, I think of myself like, oh, you know, that, that might have been a good <laughs> appendix or maybe that's the, the next book or things like that. But you have to, you know, like any good project, you have to define scope and, and keep yeah. at it. And sometimes you have to say, okay, no, we got to publish. You know, you uh, absolutely. As, 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 as they say, the, the only features that matter are the ones that ship, right? And so uh, mm-hmm. it's the same thing in a book. Yeah, at some point. Yep. Well, I'm glad. Yeah. Congratulations on, uh, on shipping and um, congratulations on the positive response. And again, I hope people will check it out. Big Bet Leadership. John Rossman. Um, and I'll put links in the show notes. So John, thanks for coming and giving the update on uh, the launch of the book. Mark, thanks for having me. Sure thing.